guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit unconventional, but I will be doing a prequel with me. I just finished filming a video for the bun tutorial and I need to wash my hair. So since I need to prequel it, I thought, why not do it on camera since I have a story and the light is behaving. I just hope that the natural light won't, like the sun won't move towards this side because then what is ruining it so today's story is about one of the worst salon experiences i've ever had and it didn't even happen when i was younger because i feel like a long time ago well it's not a long time ago <laughs> it's like a few years back the natural hair thing wasn't a thing and so they used to be at the mercy of stylists and hair salonists. So like we didn't talk much about it. We just sort of went with the flow. Yes, yes. So this is not even a long time ago. It's about a year or two ago. And I wrote about it in my blog. So I've been, first of all, I say many stores. So <laughs> which is ironic. I say many stores expect them in the video so i'm just sectioning my hair and then i can um prequel using a mixture of olive oil and a little bit of jamaican black i stopped going to hair salons in 2015 and that was because i no longer used to blow dry my hair i never used to straighten my i stopped using heat when straightening my hair because I had a lot of heat damage so in as much as I've been natural all my life like I've never used a relaxer I still had a lot of damage and you could see it from my ends so finally I'm like after a few years I thought I have been doing this for a while and why not go and trim my hair yeah and get it trimmed professionally I had been trimming it at home but I thought like there is a special touch that a professional salonist, salonist, this is call them salonists, would have. So I booked an appointment. I called this lady. I talked to her extensively. I explained about my hair, how I don't use heat. So she needed to be gentle. I asked them, do they have heat protectant? She says, they have heat protectant. Oh, we are going to take care of your hair. I tell her I just need it trimmed a bit because I'd also realized that I have a lot of single strand knots. And at that time, I'd be coming home late and just, as in just going to bed, bad life without protecting my ends. So I was like, it's fine. Let me go and get my hair trimmed. So this lady, ah, she's like, ah, no, everything will be fine. You don't worry. You just come. So I even went the day before in person and like we, we spoke a week ago and my appointment is tomorrow. I just want to find out whether you're still up to date about the things that well, my hair likes, number two, um, about what I prefer. And I just went through the entire process again with her. I know it sounds dramatic, but it's dramatic, but it's my hair. So I've been taking care of it and it looks nice. So why should I let you ruin all my progress in one sitting? So I was confident, ah, she'll be fine. And then it's a friend who had recommended her and she had been going through the natural hair journey for about five years by then. So I trusted her. She was like, this lady has never messed up my hair. So I was like, okay, let me do this. I forgot I'm supposed to be pre -pooing. This is how motion makes you forget things. The other thing I hadn't mentioned was there's someone who had incited me. They're like, go check how long your hair has grown. And I was like, eh, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Eh, lo and behold. Also, you know yourself, but I've forgiven you. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just put the... For pre -pooing, it's like you're, for lack of a better word, drenching your hair in oil. But not drenching, like let it drown, but it's a lot. It's not the same as when you're sealing moisture in. So I've just put some on my hands, and they look like this which is very shiny. I don't know if the camera catches it and I'm just going to use the spring hands method to do that. Yeah. Hiya. I go to this salon. This woman is supposed to be the one who handles my hair. I find she's busy. She insisted I come at 10. So she has a whole row of people who are waiting to be braided. 
and I think mine is pretty straightforward. All you're doing is straightening my hair. I already washed it, I already deep conditioned. The only thing you're doing is straightening it a bit using the blow dryer and then trimming. I wait about an hour in, I'm getting agitated. She comes, she asks me to sit in a certain room, I sit in that room, and she comes in and starts the straightening and then stops and then calls one of her employees and asks her to continue. So at this point, I'm wondering, I'm in a hurry, I have this thing I need to do, so let me just finish and disappear. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. If she's trusting this woman, other woman with my hair, it must be because she knows what she's doing. She continues, finishes, and then goes and calls the other lady. The other lady comes, says, oh my god, you have beautiful hair, oh, it's so long. The last the story, story comes, story go, and I'm there just wondering. Okay, so see we trim and then I disappear. Yeah. Kidogo, kidogo, she gets, she starts at the back of my head, and you know I can't see the back of my head. And then the room doesn't have mirrors everywhere. The only mirror is in front of me. Also, I wear specs and I didn't quite have my specs. So even if I looked at the mirror, it would have meant nothing because. I can't see higher. Um, she trims, 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 and then along the line, I hear her talking to this other lady. The other lady is at the back of my head. I assume, I wonder, eh, hey, Kwani trimming has to have a consultation, like two people, three people seated there, um, deciding what to do. I say that trimming is just cutting. Am I haven't been trimming the right way because I don't consult with myself? Anyway, I digress. Higher. The, the lady I talked to steps out steps out and leaves the other one. So the other one continues trimming again because she's left her trimming. My assumption is this woman knows what she's doing. Let's sit down, she continues and she combs this part of my hair and cuts it. And I see the amount that she is cutting. And my eyes start to tear up because I'm thinking. Is this the madness you've been doing at the back of my head? And I don't know how it looks like. So I'm tearing and I think, okay, maybe she cut this particular spot in a weird way. So let me wait for her to do it again. Then she does it again and she does the same thing. So I start panicking and I ask her, what are you doing? How much are you cutting? Why are you cutting on my hair? Like I came for a trim. I didn't come for a haircut. And she's like, no, Madame Alisema, ati akongeo nafa kukatia. I ask her, what do you mean, Madame Alisema? And I'm, at that point, I'm losing my mind. Well, I'm the kind of people who lose their mind uh, diplomatically. Like inside, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Then outside, I'm like, and then the madam, the madam comes. And she's there, she's like, ah, at you now go back to Nakata Mingi. First of all, who is two? You're not here. You haven't been cutting my hair. What do you mean? At you now go back to Nakata Mingi nonsense yourself. Then she tells her, at you go cut and you then she cut us. So at this point, like she, she trims the way she's been trimming. And I can see the look on this mama's face. She is trying not to be shocked. Because she just realized that this chick has been doing her own thing. She's been cutting my hair instead of trimming it. Because she was cutting a huge, 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 huge. Like when I say huge, man, I mean like if my hair is this long, she was cutting here. And I mean, I'm like, what are you doing? Huh? So this other mama is struggling not to, like, to keep her composure and not show that anything is wrong. But I can see it in her face. This woman is also panicking, but now she's thinking about damage control. So the thing that pissed me off most is the fact that I can see, you can see there's a problem, but instead of, it's like you realize now it's going this far and there's nothing you can do. And then you just turn and decide to now start convincing me that you're the professional so you know better than I do. Now you're making me feel dumb. And I haven't been in a salon for how many years? So you think the hair on my head that you claimed is beautiful the minute I walked in has been maintained by who? Why are you trying to show me that now? I don't know. Hey! 
So here I was, that time I'm filming, you know how cartoons have smoke coming out of their ears? I felt like I had smoke coming out of my ears. And I decided, you know what, we've gotten to this point. If this lady has been doing this at the back of my head, that means the rest, like up to here, that is how it looks at the back. So she can't do anything about the front except what she's been doing. So the thing that annoyed me most was, First of all, you've handed me over to an intern. You've not told me you've handed me over to an intern. You've handed me over, number two, to an intern who has never trimmed before. And you know how specific I was about my hair when we had consultations. Like, I spoke to you how many times? And you assured me how many times? But when it comes to the execution, you just go and do whatever you want to do. So she finished, because it wasn't trimming my hair, she finished cutting my hair. And then I was really upset. Like, <laughs> I was upset, but you know those people who are low-key upset and they're not seeing anything? Like, have you ever been so upset? Baka, you can't see anything. So yeah, um, then when she's done, she called in her boss. And when she came in, she's like, yeah, unaona vile mechimua vizuri. It looks so nice. Now it's going to grow long and healthy. Oh, look at even how much volume you have. Oh, story, story, story. And then there's one thing I know, that when you mess something up, especially as a service provider. So this I have experienced with fundis for clothes, like tailors, uh, plumbers, electricians, the guys who make furniture. When they do whatever it is they decided they're going to do instead of what you asked them to do or what you had agreed, they try to convince you that they're the ones who know better. So this mama comes in and she's overcompensating. Like, you know, those people who talk and you're like, this one just has an agenda and they're just trying to pacify me because now that I'm quiet, she doesn't know whether I'm going to pay her or I'm not, I'm not going to pay her. Anyway, I look back and it, it's funny now. It wasn't funny then. So what happened? At the end of it all, she tells, she asked me what I want to do with my hair. And I was like, I have my own bobby pins, so I'll just pin, I'll, I'll do a roll tuck and pin because it's one of my most basic go-to hairstyles. So, uh, yeah, like that's what I'm going to do. You don't have to come in. Then she starts telling me, Apa, na wacha ni kwaneshe ziko, zenye ziko fashion sahi, zina itua updo. Nita kufanyi updo smart, ukitembea town. Watu wana kuangalia, hey, uko smart. Then I'm thinking, what is wrong with you? I just said, I want a very simple um, roll tuck and pin, and I'm going to do it myself. One, because I prefer to handle my own hair, and two, because you've pissed me off, and you're here trying to overcompensate. You won't apologize. You won't say anything. Now you're just trying to make me feel like you are the one who knows what's best for me, and so everything you have done and you're going to do is what is best for me, and I don't know what is best for myself. So, so at this point, I'm so mad, and I decide, you do whatever you're doing, and finish, and let me pay you and, and leave this place, because if I stay here, I'll just say something dumb, or I'll do something dumb, and then I'll have to start repenting when I start praying, you know? <laughs> so I was like, hey, not today, Satan, not today. So I let her do her updo. At this point, I'm just thinking, finish, I want to go, I want to leave. And first of all, I finished preparing my hair. There's like a section, this one, which I did off camera because my battery had died. Yeah, I think I've sung that song so many times. So anyway, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm thinking finish, I go. Finish, I go, and I'm never coming back here. And you're not a nice person, and you're not a professional person, and all that stuff. So she does her up do and whatever, tries to convince me, oh my gosh, do you see how nice it looks? Oh, it's smart. Oh, steady, steady. Oh, steady, come. Oh, steady, go. And I'm just there rubbing my eyes. She finishes. I give her her money. I don't even talk to her. I just pick my bag and walk out. Then the way Nairobi CBD is set up, <laughs> there's a building as you're heading towards, I think, City Hall where the, the windows are reflective, they're dark, so you can see your own reflection. So when I left and I walked, I decided I'm going to walk towards that side. So when I finally got to the first building that had a reflective surface, which was that one, 
I went and I undid my hair. Like in the middle of the street, just started chucking bobby pins because of how mad I was. <laughs> and then because she's cut my, that other lady had cut my hair. It looks like this. She straightened it, not like completely. So it just looks like, and then it's not an afro. <laughs> it's not an afro that is standing. It's like an afro that is reforming and I don't know, hair that is doing where and doing what. So there in the middle of the street, now I start redoing the roll track and pin that I actually wanted to do in the first place. And I did it and I did it gently. And people were passing and looking at me like, is this chick okay? Like, why are you doing your hair in the middle of the street? Like not on the road where cars are passing, but who just stands in front of a building and starts doing their hair? Like it was just weird. I know it was weird, but I was really, really pissed off. So pretty much that's my experience with that natural hair salon. So that was like a sign for me that I should not go back to natural hair salons. And I haven't for a while, but last year I tried a couple. Did I try a couple? That's a lie. I used one that I used to use for braiding a long time ago. Well, she braids really well. And that's just like a muta salon. It's not actually a natural hair salon. And then me and my two legs, don't even ask me, went to the same hair salon. <laughs> so I had a horrible experience. But that is a story for another day. Once beaten, twice shy. Because I was beaten again. What is wrong with me? Anyway. So um, that is part of why I'll link the video. The video for when I went to trim my hair at the beginning of this year. That is why I was so impressed with James. Because he did such a good job, he was gentle with my hair, he had great conversation, like not just Moshele. He was sharing tips uh, about how to take care of um, my hair and what I can even tell my subscribers in terms of doing this when it comes to trimming. And it was such valuable information and then he was so friendly. Like he had no reason to be friendly to me, he had no reason to... Be, to have a conversation with me he could have just done his thing and and been quiet and just continued but he was very engaging he was nice he would ask me at different stages whether like i was okay with him doing something like are you okay with me touching your hair and i'm thinking why are you asking whether i'm okay like i'm here in a salon but it was such a for me it was like he's asking for permission because he knows that even though i'm here Perhaps there's something I don't like uh, stylists doing to my hair. And that was so much respect. And again, that is one of the reasons why I really, really, really had a great time with James. Other than that, he's a very awesome person. He didn't make an appointment with me and then pawn me off to someone else. Like he made an appointment and followed through and that was just amazing. So big up to him. Yeah. And... That that whole experience, the sun has moved, so the light is weird. I don't know. I couldn't just see it with me. Big difference. Yeah, so I'm still saying very many souls, but that's part of the reason why I'm doing a certain series that I'm going to be sharing with you soon, and I hope that it will work out the way I want it to work out. Because sometimes you have an idea and then it doesn't come out quite the way you expected. But I'm hoping that that will work out and it will work out well. So stay tuned and let me know if you are more interested in like this type of videos and part of your salon experience if you've ever had one that is horrible. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and yeah, hit the notification bell. Let's talk in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.